Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I paint this realistic wolf eye with oil paints. Although it is done with oil paint, you can definitely achieve the same sort of look with acrylics and even digital. So my YouTube tutorials are sped up versions of these paintings, giving you brief instructions on how to achieve a particular look. If you're interested in a super in-depth version of this tutorial that comes with full color mixing, all of the details, exact step-by-step, -step, um, all of that good stuff, plus a copy of the real-time footage of this painting so you can actually see every single brush stroke I make and follow along with your own painting, you might want to check out my tutorial that I have. So there's a link down in the description if you are interested in a full detailed version of this tutorial. All right, let's get started. So here I'm going to be working with oil paints on a small piece of watercolor paper that I've primed and then taped to a hard surface. I'm going to lightly map out my sketch with a pencil. So I'm not paying a ton of attention to detail right now, but just sort of mapping out where the fur will go and the basic shapes. Next, I'm going to start mapping in the base layer of the fur, working with a larger brush at this point, just trying to get some coverage with the color. I always work from a reference, or in most cases, a series of references, so make sure you're paying close attention to that to try and match the colors as close as possible. You can see here I'm using a much finer brush to give the fur some definition. So making those nice short little neat strokes that show the individual hairs. I wanted something nice and dark in the painting to sort of root everything, so I went ahead and used a very dark paint to kind of map out where the flesh around the eye is going to be and the tear duct of that wolf eye. Now I'm going to continue working around the eye, starting to move into the brow area. So like I did earlier, I'm going to start by adding a nice solid layer of paint, sort of a medium tone, and then we're going to build up some texture on there. Grey wolves tend to have darker fur on their brow area, so you can see that's why I'm adding a darker brown up towards the top and then maintaining a lighter fur color around the actual eye. Now going in with still a pretty big brush and we're going to roughly brush in some fur texture. I'm working wet into wet here so you can see the strokes look a little bit diffuse but that's okay we're going to give it more detail later. Now I'm going in with a fine brush again, but this time I'm going to be alternating between dark paint to add some definition to the fur and alternating with lighter paint. 
When you're working with fur, you always want to make sure that you're paying close attention to a reference. The direction of the fur, the direction that it flows in, is incredibly important when it comes to creating realistic fur. So make sure you're taking a peek at some photographs if you're not sure exactly which direction the fur should be flowing in. There's absolutely no shame in looking at reference photos. In fact, it's highly encouraged. Here I thought my brush strokes were getting a little rough, so I took a dry brush and kind of lightly blended things out. And adding more fur definition with a lighter tone and that nice fine brush. Here you can see how important it is to again pay attention to the direction that the fur is flowing because if I had this all incorrect it would not look very good. So take a look at those reference photos. So now with the fur mostly complete I'm going to start working on the actual eye itself. So like I worked with the rest of the fur, starting with a darkish base, so kind of just blocking in that main layer, and then adding the lighter golden color of the iris. I'm still working with a big brush at this point. Um, we're going to do some blending and detailing later on. So the bigger brushes allow you to cover more area and prevent you from getting too focused on the details right away. As you can see here, I'm actually blending it out now. Now I'm going in with a detail brush again and adding some nice little details to that iris. So kind of making short strokes outwards from the pupil like spokes of a bike. And then lightly blending it where necessary, making sure that we pay attention to where the light is actually being cast in the eye. Adding a couple of highlights to show that the flesh around the eye is nice and wet. And still going in and detailing a little bit more, making it even brighter. So adding a couple more fur details and adding the final highlight on the eye. This will totally bring it to life. So now we're entering the final phase, glazing. This is where I go and deepen those shadows and add a nice pop of color and saturation. It just brings everything to life, makes everything look so much more rich, and you could do a lot of correction at this phase. So I like to use Liquin by Winsor & Newton as my glazing medium and then add a tiny bit of paint to it, making sure we're mixing nice and thoroughly before adding it to your completely dry painting. Next up is I'm going back in and detailing once more. So adding those final highlights with your fine brush, mostly sticking with white at this phase to make sure everything pops. And we're done. See how awesome that looks? Imagine if you can apply these techniques to any painting you do. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, like I mentioned earlier, if you are interested in a super in-depth version of this tutorial with uh, full instructions, all of the color mixing, an exact step-by-step -step where I basically walk you through the entire thing, plus the real-time video so you can see every single brush stroke, head to the link in the description. I've got a little tutorial package put together that will make everyone's life so much easier. All right, guys, I'm always looking for new ideas on what to paint for tutorials. So if there's something in particular you want to see, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.